they think they like me. Yup, in my white. No, 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 baby, smoke so much, don't get some vice. Hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we are going to look at the lead code problem and the problem's name is find first palindromic string in the array so we are given an array of strings and we have to return the first palindromic string a string is palindromic if it reads the same forward and backward so if you take this example ada is the first palindromic string because it reads the same when you read it from left to right and also from right to left also race car is also a palindromic string but it is not the first Coming to the second example, there are two strings present inside the words array. The first and the only palindromic string in the two is race car, so you return that as the output. And when there are no palindromic strings present inside the words array, you return an empty string as the output. Coming to the function they have given us, the return type is string, so we have to return the palindromic string which is occurring first. First palindrome is the function name and the string array words is given as parameter. Now let us write a helper function with which we can check if a string is palindrome or not. We will use this helper function to check for the words present inside the words array. We will apply the helper function for all the words present inside the words array starting from left to right and the first word which satisfies the helper function will be our result. So as I have said let us write the helper function first. The return type is boolean for this helper function. So it will return either true or false. I'm going to name it as palindrome and pass a string str as its parameter. Now to check if a string is palindrome or not, it has to read the same from left to right. So the leftmost element and the rightmost element have to be the same in every iteration. So let us declare two pointers pointing at the starting and the ending index. So left will start at zero and right will point at the last index position. Last index position can be found out with the length method. Since index position starts from 0, I am applying minus 1 to get the last index. Initially, the first left pointer will point here, and the right pointer will point here. In the next iteration, left pointer will be incremented by 1, and right pointer will be decremented by 1. Until left is less than right, this iteration will happen. So while left is always less than right you have to check for the leftmost and the rightmost element so if those two characters are not same in this example if you take c is the leftmost index and r is the rightmost index as c is not equal to r you can directly return false as the output for this helper function so if str dot cat hat of left is not equal to str dot car at of right so return false else we can continue the next iteration where left is incremented by one and right is decremented by one and outside this while loop if it does not return false we can return true as the output which means that this string is a palindromic string. Now let's use this helper function is palindrome to check for the words present inside the words array. So let's start from the leftmost to the rightmost word. So for int equal to zero, is less than words dot length plus plus. Now let's call this is palindrome helper function if is palindrome of words of i. i is initially 0 so it will start off with the first word. In this case it will start off with abc until words.length. It will check till the last word. So whenever this function gives true you can return that word as the output. So return words of i and outside the for loop you can return an empty string which means that we haven't found out any word which is giving true for this function so it did not return any word present inside the words array as they have mentioned if there is no such string return an empty string so we are returning an empty string let's run the code there you have it we are getting the expected output let's submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted so let's take this example and see how the code will work we have the array which is consisting of 5 words. Let's start with the first word here. 
So the first word is ABC. This will be passed to the is palindrome helper function, which will return either true or false. The left pointer will be pointing here, and the right pointer is pointing here. It is going to check if character at left is not equal to character at right. It will return false because a is not equal to c so it will return false so it is not a palindrome word let's go on to the second word here which is car left is pointing here and right is pointing here it is going to check if both the characters at left and right are equal they are not equal so you can say that it is not a palindrome word let's go on to the next word ada left is pointing here and right is pointing here yes both the letters are same at left and right so left will be incremented and right will be decremented and now both are pointing here so we reach the middle of the word so this while loop will terminate because the condition here is that left should always be less than right but here left and right are both pointing at the same letter so you come out of the while loop so this function will return true so this word is a palindrome word so a d a is the first palindrome word so that will be returned as the output and there is no need to proceed for the next two words because we already found out the first word you can return it that's it guys that's the end of the program thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next